Oh, my God. Where's my color boys down at the club about this? That's the fuzziest thing I've ever Wilbur, you're not laughing. <laughs> my horse really did write the song. Wilbur, I'll get you a cold towel. Look, he would tell you himself, or he won't talk to anybody but me. He won't be the horse. He wrote the song. Yeah. He wrote the lyrics, too. He, he just sat down at the piano and knocked off the tune. Of course, can't play the piano. Oh, of course not. His hooks are too big to get on the key. He has a harmonic. <laughs> well, let's face it. You don't want me to have the song. You want to sell it to a bigger company. That is not true. Aha. Uh-huh. I know what it is. It's that Addison. He's the one who's responsible for this whole thing. Instead of kissing her at the wedding, I should have shot him. <laughs> Paul, about the house. Maybe you'd like to get another architect. Please, please. How can I think about that now? I still don't know why you won't tell us who your singer is. What's the difference? He won't sing. <laughs> Shame. I just talked to my sister, and she says that Paul is just heartbroken. Shake hands with your new partner. <laughs> that song of yours kept running through my mind. And I said to myself, this is going to be a hit. So I invested quite a bit of money in Flip Records. I got you to the post office and said, now, Paul, forget about my personal feeling towards you. This is business. This song of Wilbur's can't miss, and I want to get in on the process. Well, he just looked at me. didn't say a word. Just pocketed my check, and why are you all staring at me? Come, darling. I'll make you some cocoa and put you to bed. But I don't want to go to bed. You will after you hear the news. <laughs> We just lost a neighbor. Oh, no, honey, don't say that. Why, Roger is a very intelligent man, and when Kay explains to him what happened... Oh, no! <laughs> what were you saying? That we just lost the neighbor. <laughs> It's a bright song, a happy song, and the country could use a little cheering up now. Don't ask me, ask him. Still sticking to the same old story. Our country needs my song, and you turn him down. Me? You Benedict Arnold. You mean you'll sing Pretty Little Philly? On one condition. One condition. What is it? Uh, listen. You don't. You. No, no. Don't jump. Watch out. I was just fixing the Venetian blind. <laughs> Paula, I'm going to record that song for you. You? Yeah. I'm the fellow with the deep voice. That was me you heard on the phone. Oh, come on. Now, Wilbur, jokes are jokes. Yes, yeah, true. It's just that when I sing in front of people, I get nervous and my voice changes completely. It's sort of like Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. Jekyll sings high and Hyde is the low one. Oh, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get you a small recording studio. No, 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 no. No studio. We'll record in my barn. Barn? Yeah, the acoustics are just great. You did say Bach. <laughs> yeah, well, where am I going for the orchestra? Go oh, and no 40 piece orchestra. Just a small combo. <laughs> hey, Wilbur, are you sure you want that horse in the same stall with you? He's liable to make some noise. Well, I hope so. I mean, I He's my good luck piece. Oh, four horseshoes? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get behind my screen. All right, fellas, stand by. All right, men. One, two. Pretty little filly with the pony tail. 